So we use React in, uh, in Wix, and React lets us uh, run the same code both in the server and in the client. It's called isomorphic code or uh, universal code. It's basically JavaScript code that runs both in Node uh, and in the browser. So in the browser, uh, you give React your top-level component, let's call it my site, and uh, an HTML element. And usually, if you're working only in the client, your HTML element is an empty div. And you tell React, please render my site into this div. In the server, you give the same uh, top-level component to React, but you tell it, Rend to, render to string. Uh, and then you take this string representing the content of the site uh, and embed it in a template of the HTML response that you're going to return. By the way, stop me and ask questions. Raise your hand if you have questions during the, the talk. You don't have to wait till the end. So here's the client side flow. The browser uh, gets a response. Again, it's, a, it's an, with an empty div. It's the, the actual content is not there. The browser then downloads all the JavaScript, executes React, and then the site is visible and interactive, right? You can see it, and you can click on things, and the application works. In the server flow, in the SSR flow, you get a, a, a response with all the HTML inside. So now the browser renders the page, all the images and all the DOM elements, and the site is visible. The browser then downloads all the JavaScript again and uh, uh, executes React, and then the site is made uh, interactive. Yeah. Now we see that compared to the uh, client flow, here the site was visible and interactive at the same time, and here we have uh, a separation. So this separation between the time the, the site is visible and the time the site is interactive is called proceed performance, and that's what SSR uh, gives us. Doesn't necessarily have to be React, the, the concept of SSR. And it's made possible uh, by two things. Uh, first, the server doesn't need to download and parse all the JavaScript for each request. We load the server once, we load all the code uh, once, and we use the same code for all requests. So it's much faster. Uh, the second reason, reason is that we can probably render faster in our server in our server, uh, especially faster than mobile devices. So we can generate the HTML much faster than a, a mobile phone can. Even if the site uh, is not yet interactive, uh, meaning not all the JavaScript loaded, it's still visible. And the user can still uh, see it and, and start making cho choices where what, what it uh, wants to do next. Uh, OK, so perceived performance is actually a, a measure of how quick the user thinks your site is. And it's, sometimes, it's often more important than uh, the real uh, speed of the site. This is what SSR did for us uh, at Wix. Uh, so it's, you can see the drop. It's a, it's a good drop. It's, a, it's talking about uh, loading time over time to visible. Uh, and it's an improvement of about 60 to 70 percent uh, across all uh, percentiles. And of course, this talks about only about the first, the first page load. Uh, every, any other navigation inside the site uh, happens like any other single page application, on, only the client. We don't go to the server uh, uh, to paginate inside the site. 